Loris Karius. For casual football fans, the name may not ring any bells, but Liverpool supporters will pick it immediately, and some will probably accompany it with grimace. For the rest of you, can we take a quick refresher course? He made his debut in December 2012, becoming the youngest goalkeeper to ever feature in the Bundesliga in the process. He never looked back. He had become so good that during the 2015-16 Bundesliga season, he was voted the second-best goalie only behind the great Manuel Neuer. Liverpool had kept eyes on this exciting prospect, and in May 2016, he put pen to paper on a five-year deal to play for the Reds of Merseyside. It was a meteoric rise for the German. Sadly, though, at Liverpool, he is remembered not for any of his achievements, but for the events that took place in the city of Kiev on the 26th of May 2018. It was a night to remember, or is it forget? It was the Champions League final, Liverpool on one side and Real Madrid on the other, a game many waited with bathed breath, a game that would eventually become a career-defining for the blonde German shot-stopper, though not in the way he would have wished. Liverpool lost the final 3-1, with two of the goals being direct mistakes by Karius. It was comic. The first, the German attempted to throw the ball to a defender, but somehow it hit the leg of Karim Benzema, and it rolled into the back of the net, a gift from the gods for the Frenchman. The third was also Karius's fault, as he inexplicably allowed a long-range, tame shot from Gareth Bale to slip through his hands. In between the two, Bale scored perhaps the greatest goal in Champions League history, so we will give Loris a pass for that one, but his career has struggled since. Liverpool later confirmed that the goalkeeper had suffered a blow to the head following a collision with the redoubtable Sergio Ramos before both goals, which eventually had a devastating effect. Club doctors later confirmed that he had suffered a concussion, while Liverpool manager Jurgen Klopp also blamed the collision for the mistakes. Despite this, it did not stop him from making a big money signing during the transfer window, bringing in Alison Becker from AS Roma. It marked the end of Karius's career at the club. He never played a competitive clash in a Liverpool shirt since then. In all honesty, even if the concussion played a part in his mistakes, it was obvious that the German was never good enough to be Liverpool's first-choice goalkeeper. He was unconvincing during his first two seasons at Anfield, hence the splashing out of £66.8 million on Allison. The German was left with a decision to make, stay and fight for his place against Becker or choose to continue his career elsewhere. It was a no-brainer. In August of 2018, off he left for Turkish side Beskitas on loan. He almost got his career back on track again, but in the end, it didn't work out. Despite statistics showing he was having a good time, he left Beskitas because of an outstanding four-month debt. Even then, he made a number of mistakes, including two costly ones in the Europa League, and at some point, his fans booed him, and the club was not too happy with his too much partying. But at least he helped the club to third-place finishes for the two seasons he was at the club. With no place for him at Liverpool and having two years left on his contract, he had to find another club, and that's how he ended up at Union Berlin. But this loan did not work out. He featured in only four league games, with the rest of the time spent sitting on the bench, watching 33-year-old Andreas Luthe play almost every minute of every match for Union. And at the end of the season, his move was not made permanent, his career remained in limbo. With no club interested, Karius returned to Liverpool with a year left on his contract, and knowing well that there was no way he could find his way into the starting lineup, he became the club's fifth goalkeeper. Yep, you heard it right, fifth. Liverpool were literally stuck with him. However, they were willing to let him leave for free in January 2022. But no club came, partly thanks to his hefty £65,000 wages a week. So he spent a whole season training with his fellow goalkeepers and showing off his modeling skills on Instagram. The end of the goalkeeper's turbulent tale at Liverpool was poetic. It came as the Reds faced Real Madrid in the Champions League final. Although he did not play any part in the showpiece event in Paris, it was still a fascinating way for his Anfield story to conclude. In the end, though, Liverpool lost again, and the emotional moment of perhaps seeing Karius on the pitch to celebrate a Liverpool win never happened. There was no subplot. He departed Merseyside. The big boys in town. Newcastle came calling and gave him a six-month contract. Even there, he couldn't walk straight into the starting team. Instead, he became their third-choice goalkeeper behind Nick Pope and Martin Dubrovka. With the two always fighting for a spot between the posts, there was no way Karius was going to get a shout and didn't get action in his first first six months, which elapsed in January. Miraculously, the club offered him a contract extension in January, and no one would have prepared him for what was to happen. With Pope out-injured and Dubrovka cup-tied, 
Arias got the chance to play his first competitive match at senior level in two years in the Carling Cup Finals against Manchester United. He conceded twice in the 2-0 defeat at Wembley, but it was enough to acquit himself well and it helped to repair the psychological damage inflicted during the calamitous performance five years ago. The performances also helped heal old wounds and perhaps convince the club chiefs to offer him a new contract, which is being discussed currently. Carius believes he can change his story, that his goalkeeper career can still have a happy ending, and that he can play at the highest level again. You know what? We totally believe the guy, and that's top mentality. His is not a finished story. There might be one more chapter to it, perhaps the best chapter yet.